motion. Sir Oliver Hill. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, I, I beg to move that leave be given to bring in a bill to require the Secretary of State to report to Parliament on the merits of providing financial support for parents of children receiving care in hospital for extended periods. Um, Madam Deputy Speaker, my constituent Kerry Menai Davis contacted me after the loss of his six year old son Hugh to a rare cancer on 18 September 2021. Uh, he and his wife uh, Frances are in the gallery today. Uh, they had a terrible ordeal attending hospital and commuting daily at times for over a 10 month period as they watched their son rapidly decline over a number of months in hospital from a sporty youngster to his sad passing. Uh, when Mr Menai Davis contacted me at the end of 2021, uh, he and his wife had just set up a charity called It's Never You, uh, words that Mrs Menai Davis said to her husband when they had the diagnosis. And they wanted to help parents of very ill children in hospital with mental and physical support and also to call for some financial help. These are rare cases where children are in hospital for extended periods. Uh, I asked a written question about this and the reply showed that about 4,000 children a year spend more than two months continuously in hospital. And of course not all of these cases are ones where the parents are going to hospital every day or staying there. Uh, Mr Menai Davis asked me if I could arrange for him to meet a health minister to lobby for better care of patients. Uh, I did this and the Minister of State, who then was the Honourable, Right Honourable Member for Charnwood, held a meeting with us on the 24th of March 2022, where he was able to hear about a range of practical problems of care for parents in hospitals, including ensuring there was food available and mental support. The Minister asked for full details and we prepared documents which we sent to him to inform the work on the new generation of children's hospitals, <clears throat> including facilities for parents of very sick children. And he responded very constructively on issues of outreach to parents, food for parents staying in hospital with children, improved facilities for families in the new hospitals programme, and linking NHS charities with the work of this charity, It's Never You. Through my constituents' charities, uh, parents or guardians of sick children benefit by connecting with a community of peers, finding support, including moral support, sharing experiences, and getting professionally sourced and reliable information via a social network. And this is not something that's done by the statutory authorities. It's the, ch the Children's Cancer Platform, and it's the UK's only platform built to exclusively support parents in this difficult situation. The charity has started to put wellbeing bags into hospitals such as Adam Brooks and Great Ormond Street, and they're about to go into Oxford University Hospital as well, and the bags are, are very well received, and uh, they're also present now in Manchester, Birmingham, Cardiff, Leeds, and many more. And they've partnered several charities across the UK and aim to form an umbrella where all relevant charities can be found in one place. Adam Brooks in Cambridge um, is, of course, the major hospital for East Anglia, but it is a site for a new children's hospital. And the team there have had productive meetings with uh, Mr M Menai Davis, where he has shared insights with them, and they have described these to me as inspiring. Uh, however, the aspect of this 10-minute rule bill raised by my constituent is the financial impact on parents having to spend months in hospital supporting young, sick children. My constituent is, is self-employed and it, it cost him a lot to put his child first and he was only able to manage because of his strong personal position economically. But he did fear for others less fortunate who found themselves in the same position. And he's given me some examples of people uh, who his charity are helping. I have raised this financial issue with ministers in DWP and health and been pointed to some limited help, such as a parent using annual leave entitlement or unpaid parental leave for dependents, and also that there is bereavement leave, but that there isn't any state uh, support specifically for parents whose finances are affected because they've been unable to work 
due to spending so much time with their child in hospital. Now, a family in this situation may be able to claim universal credit, uh, or if they are already on universal credit, get an increase to partly compensate for the drop in income, depending on individual circumstances. Parents who've worked for the same employer for at least a year are entitled to 18 weeks unpaid parental leave for each child, which can be taken up until the child's 18th birthday. But there is nothing specific to deal with a situation such as occurred here. And in this bill, I'm asking for a report to be made to Parliament by the Secretary of State on the merits of providing financial support for parents of children receiving care in hospital for extended periods. Uh, in my view, this would not cost a great deal, as there are so few cases of this sort, but it would mean, in tragic circumstances such as these, all parents can concentrate on helping their child rather than worrying about money. And in a way, this 10-minute rule bill is also about uh, Kerry Menai Davis and his wife Frances being able to try to help other parents uh, who find themselves in the situation they did. And of course, in some ways, it's a legacy for Hugh. The question is that the Right Honourable Member have leave to bring in the bill. As many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. Who will prepare and bring in the bill? Uh, Dr Caroline Johnson, Dame Margaret Beckett, Sir Robert Sims, Valerie Vaz, Sir Paul Beresford, Gareth Thomas, Mrs Flick Drummond, Clive Efford, Selene Saxby, Stephen McPartland, Jackie Doyle Price and myself, Madam Deputy Speaker. Sir Oliver Heald. Children in hospital for extended periods report to Parliament Bill. Second reading, what day? 24th November. 24th of November. Thank you. 